whose asshole is hypersensitive. <laughs> Let's be honest. Mm. Ooh, you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's getting us with a little pucker factor there, folks. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and you wonder why there's four batteries on the table. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, it was a behavior change tactic, and it was involving punishment. Um, and we strung these things together, you see, and we were trying to figure out what sort of intensity, this one and a half volts, one and a half volts, one and a half volts, one. You can have a lot of fun if you put enough of them together, let me just tell you. <laughs> you can definitely change behavior. Now, the irony is, is it might not even be punishing. It could be reinforcing, depending on your past history. Um, so, which gets us right into behavior change tactics, is any tactic that changes behavior. It's got to be technologically sound, right? It's not just random hooey hooey, newy willy nilly wobba baba stuff. It's whatever it is that has an established history, um, scientific history. So the reinforcement stuff, the punishment stuff, the extinction stuff, the motivating operations stuff, the occasion setting event stuff, the... Antecedent interventions, and consequent interventions, I covered all those. All of those things are behavior change tactics. There's technologically sound, meaning behavior analytically technologically sound, not like uh, devices sound, um, but you get the point. It's just tactics that you use to change behavior. I could keep talking about it, but it just goes in circles. Bye.